okay so we have discussed that how IP addresses are assigned to the uh, host so uh, worldwide so basically the ISP they get IP addresses block from the IK okay the ISP they get the IP addresses from um, from IK and then the user are the uh, are the organization they get the IP addresses from the ISP okay now we are going to discuss another important topic okay uh, before discussing the net okay so we would like to discuss the motivation okay uh, suppose this is the this is an organization okay this is the Kamsers University Islamabad Wa campus it has it wants to get the IP addresses from the internet from ISP from the ISP so it has host how many 4000 hosts if it has 4000 host 4000 machines then it needs 4000 IP addresses okay so if it needs 4000 IP addresses and you know this is only for a first campus one campus one campus and the comes it it have seven campuses so so and suppose each campus is needs 4000 IP addresses so 7 into 4000 28000 so 28000 IP addresses they will be used by Kamset University and if you think about Pakistan all universities and organization so you can see that the 32 bit IP address IP version 4 address we have 32 bits so these 32 bit address they will be exhausted <laughs> all these IP addresses will be occupied even in Pakistan okay so this is called IP depletion address depletion problem IP addresses they will be depleted okay so basically again I would like to emphasize that initially we had IP version 4 IP address till now it is the 2 bit IP address if this is the Kamset University and it has 4000 hosts so it means that it needs 4000 IP addresses and if we have seven campuses so seven, so it and if all of seven campuses each have uh, 4000 host then it means that 28000 addresses they will be used by Kamset and if you think about Pakistan other organization then these 32 bit IP address they all will be used within Pakistan okay so what about the rest of the world so this is called IP address depletion problem that IP addresses they were uh, exhausted they were all occupied if they are occupied then we will not have IP it's free IP address if you don't have free IP address then other people cannot use the internet why because to use the internet this host has to get IP address okay now to solve this IP address depletion problem so we have different solution one was cedar one was cedar if you do remember that we have discussed classless addresses okay then uh, if you remember the cedar so we can go back uh, to the slides if you remember uh, we have discussed it uh, cedar okay uh, we have discussed cedar you know here we have discussed cedar okay so this cedar is already discussed okay okay the cedar is already discussed okay so the cedar is already discussed another concept is data of private and public IP addresses okay private and public IP address public IP address means that it is known worldwide in internet it is known worldwide in internet and provide IP addresses it is only known within the network it is not known outside the network it is not known worldwide for example if this is IP address if this is a private address so it is only known within this uh, uh, this network it is not known outside of this network but the public IP address it, it is known worldwide every in the internet okay so let me explain it through an example 
Suppose we have IP addresses in the range 10.0.0.1 up to 255. Okay, so these are the private addresses. So if this host had IP address 10.0.1.2 up to 3, so these IP addresses, private IP addresses, can be assigned to the host in the WA University as well. These IP addresses they are assigned in the CUI Y campus. These IP address can also be assigned here because they are provided, they can be reused. These are analogy. If I would like to explain it through any analogy, suppose we have, for example, office number, office number 12131415. So, this 12 can be office number can be in, in uh, CUI Y campus, it can be also in the Y University. Okay, they can be reused. Okay, no problem. So, okay, so normally in the in the organization we have the private ip addresses are assigned to the machines private ip addresses are assigned to machines so you can see that these ip addresses are reused if you have 10 if you have uh, if we have 100 universities so each university will have a host machines with ip address 10.1.1.2.3 so this ip address is private so it is only known within this network it is not known outside and this IP address is known within this network, so it is not known with outside. So they are they so these can be used to communicate. Uh, these IP address can be used by these machine to communicate with each other. These IP address can be used to communicate with each other. So they are unique here. They are unique here. Okay. So its scope is local. Okay. Now, the in organization, for example, the Y University or for example this uh, CUI Y campus. If it wants to connect through the internet, so it is connected through uh, to the internet through a router. Okay, so this is the outgoing link. Okay, basically the in the organization it gets a public IP address from the internet and then public IP address is assigned to the outgoing link of its gateway this is the gateway this is the router or gateway the gateway basically connects this network to the internet to the internet and this is the access link this is the access link okay so this access link it will have a public IP address single public IP address and this public IP address it will be unique throughout the internet it will be unique throughout the internet okay similarly this organization the y university it also has a gateway and this is the outgoing link okay so this gateway will have public ip address this one so it is known worldwide if worldwide through throughout the internet if any from anywhere uh, anywhere over the internet if someone wants to send a packet to IP address 138736298.8 so it will be uh, it will it is known worldwide so the packet will be transmitted to this router that is on each router throughout the internet the route is stored for this IP address okay this is called public IP address and this public IP address is, is basically assigned by ISP they are assigned by ISP so you can know that this public IP address is assigned to an organization which wants to connect to internet okay so if it wants to connect to internet so only one public IP address is enough and now these private IP addresses they are reused okay so if you have 4000 IP addresses here so this would IP, private IP addresses can be used by any one organization okay so basically the but the public ip address is only one for each organization okay so and you know that this private ip address is it is known only within this network they are not known outside the network okay now this is actually what it it addresses the problem that if we have 4000 machine are 8000 machine in a network we need only one public IP address we need only one public IP address 
so instead of assigning 4000 addresses to our, to our in organization that have 4000 machine we only assign one ip public address one ip public address and this one ip public address is a, it is representing the whole 4000 organizations so instead of so you can see that in the last example that we have discussed if we have seven campuses so and each campus is connected to the internet so each campus will have one public ip address so it means that we have seven so the seven campuses have seven ip addresses public they don't have seven uh, uh there's uh, 28000 ip addresses so instead of using 28000 addresses now the organization they can have only seven ip addresses okay so in this way a and the uh and the in the uh, in the organization the host they are assigned the private ip address and these private ip addresses they can be reused for example these IP private ip addresses are used here in the cui war campus these ip address can be also used in the and uh, can be also used in the y university these ip addresses can be used by another university another university another university okay so in this way the ip addresses they are assigned they are used more efficiently the uh, ip addresses are used more efficiently so now you can now uh, you, you can come to know that in organization okay the host they are assigned private ip addresses okay and the organization is connected to the internet through a gateway and the outgoing link of the gateway they are assigned one I, one public ip address so it means that for every organization that connects to internet we need only one public ip address rather than the number of uh, 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 rather than 4000 ip addresses for the organization okay so it it, it solved the ip address depletion problem okay but now if you like that suppose this is the host 10.0.0.3 okay it wants to communicate with another host okay and that is for example this one and this uh, machine that is the destination it has the public IP address so it is known worldwide okay now if this organization wants to send data this machine want to send it to 128.119.40.186 suppose this is the port number destination so if it wants to send data so this machine it only knows the machine within its organization it doesn't know this IP address that where it is located so in this case you can know that when an IP address is assigned to the host so we not only assign the IP address but we also assign the subnet mask that how many bits are for the network part we also assign the DNS addresses and we also assign the default gateway so the default gateway is used for this purpose when the host wants to send a data to a machine for example 120 this and the, this host doesn't know that where this this machine is located because it is not within its range its network so in this case the this host will send data to default gateway and default gateway in this case is this machine okay when it is received on this router so this router is connected to the all the internet the rest of internet so it hey it knows that that uh, because this is the public ip address so it so it will be known over all the internet so it also know this is also connected to the internet so it also know that it is located here so this uh, default gateway will forward the message toward this destination okay now suppose that this destination ip address this destination now wants to send back the reply so how should the reply be sent you know that when the message was going from this machine so the source address was 10.0.0.3 and the destination address was 128.119.40.186 now if this machine wants to send reply so the source address will be 128.119.40 and the destination address will be this one 10.0.0.3 this is the port number suppose it is 45 for this application okay so this IP address when this machine wants to reply back so it will use the destination address 10.0.0.3 and this ip address it is private it is only known within this organization it is not known outside 
so this message cannot be sent this message cannot be sent so this is the problem when you use public and private ip addresses then the message can, that is the message can be sent from the private ip address to the public ip address from the network to the internet it can be sent but if the message if the uh, if the uh, if there is a reply from the internet back to the network then it cannot be sent why because this ip address is the private this ip address is private it is only known here it is not known outside so to solve this problem we have another protocol and that is called net so you will like to discuss so to solve this problem we have a protocol that is called net this is called network address translation network address translation this is a another concept okay it is used and what is it we will discuss it through an example okay now suppose i am going to discuss the net through an example okay suppose this uh, this is the host and it wants to send data over the internet okay so how it is sent now suppose this is the host 10.0.1 it want to send data to 128.19.80 this is the destination port number this is destination ip address okay so you know that this host only knows the machine within its network it doesn't know this machine that where it is located the destination so in this case we have discussed that when we assign ip address to machine we also assign the default gateway the default gateway is used in this purpose when the host or the when the machine doesn't know that where is the destination located so in this case the message is forwarded to the default gateway so in this case this message will be forwarded to the default gateway so in this message the source address is 10.0.0.1 for this machine this is the source port number of this machine the application okay 3345 the destination ip address is suppose this one 128.119.40.186 and this is the destination port number 80 okay this message will be sent to the gateway okay when it is received on the gateway so gateway come to know that this ip address it is the public ip address it it is not here in this network so it is outside the network okay so before for that it this means that this message should be forwarded over the internet so before forwarding this message it will store here the source ip address here the source ip address and the source port number here and this source ip address and the message it will be replaced by the public ip address 13876297 this ip address will be replaced by this public ip address and this port number will also be replaced here it will this will open another port number another port number for example anyone okay for example it open up a port number 5001 5001 so you can know that this in this message this source ip address it is replaced by 138.76.29.7 this is the public ip address of this network so it is the source private ip address it is replaced by the public ip address of the network and it opens up another port number here on this machine suppose this is 5001 so it will be stored here and this port number that was found from the source machine it will be replaced by the port number that was created by this gateway 5001 so you can see that and it is stored here that this message was sent okay this ip address this ip address and port number it was replaced by this ip address and port number okay so this is stored here that I have received a message and in this message the source IP address and port number this source IP address and port number they are replaced by this IP address and this port number in this message and now the message is sent to the to where it is sent to the uh, to the uh, destination okay now when the destination receives the message okay 
when the destination received the message this message and destination want to send back the data so this this is the source address from this side so if the destination want to send data then this will be the destination address this will be the destination address in the response message and this will be the source address okay so now when the destination sends back the the response so you know the source address is 128 119.40.186 so this was the destination address this will be become the source address and port number 80 this is th this was the destination port number so this will be now become the source IP address so this is the response from the destination side and the destination IP address will be this source address will become the destination IP address so this is 138 and 501 and you know that this IP address it is public IP address it is the public IP address. it is known worldwide the root is known worldwide over the internet toward it so it this message will be forwarded to the this IP here when this message arrives here so again it will be look up in the net table that for example this is the destination address 138762951 this destination IP address and port number it will be look up in the table if it is found so it means that this message was it should be replaced by this one if it is to be forwarded to the end okay so this IP address it will be replaced by 10.0.1 and this 501 will be replaced by 334 and now it has been forwarded to the this network and now this IP address is 10.0.1 it is known in this network okay you can see that it is uh, this IP address and port number they are replaced by this so how it comes to know that these IP address and port number should be replaced by this because this destination IP address and port number it will be looked up in the main side in the net table if it is found then then they will be replaced by the its corresponding lane side address okay now they are replaced 10.0.1 now this message can be delivered to this one why because it is known in this network this IP address is known in this network okay so you can see that that this net problem it solves the problem the conversion uh, between public IP address and private IP addresses okay so this net uh, it, 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 it is basically working for this purpose okay so we have discussed that uh, why uh, IP address depletion problem we discuss IP address depletion problem so to handle IP, IP address depletion problem we need private and public IP addresses okay that is the private IP addresses they are assigned within the network to, okay so they are only known uh, it has the scope within the network okay and for each and uh, for each organization we have we know we need only one public IP address okay but if we have the public and private IP addresses then we have the problem of accessibility so this accessibility that is the the from the from private IP address the data can be sent over the internet but if the response is sent back from the internet to the private IP address then it cannot be sent so for this purpose we use net so this net it solves this problem as well okay so you can see that what is net basically all datagram leaving the local networks when this when the packet is leaving from this network to the internet from any host so it will be replaced by the public ip address and the port number of this gateway okay so all the datagram data is leaving from here it will have the same ip address this one it will have the same ip address public so for example we have 4000 machines so each one when sends the data over the internet all of these packets they will have the IP address source IP address this public IP address 138.76.29.7 so all the datagram leaving the local network leaving the gateway moving toward the internet they will have single and uh, same IP address that will be of the public IP address source net IP address that is the source net net, net IP address okay and uh, it is basically different from the 
uh, and, and, and we have different source port number okay so we have discussed that when the message is to is lived from here okay this is the original message when this message was was sent from by the gateway before forwarding the source ip address it is replaced the source ip address this 10.1 it is replaced by the public ip address of this organization that is 138.76.29.7 and the source port number is also replaced by by the port number of this gateway so it opens up another port number for each outgoing packet for each outgoing flow it in it opens up another uh, port number okay for example 5001 in this case okay so the datagram with source or destination in this network have the ip addresses for source and destination as usual okay so you can see that this uh, uh, this net it solved the uh, ip address depletion problem that is by if the uh, if the organization have 4000 machine or 5000 machine they only need only one public ip address okay so we have explained it through an example okay now what is the motivation of using net network address translation so network address translation the local network use just one ip address one public ip address as far as outside world is concerned and within its organization it use private ip addresses okay and the private ip addresses they can be reused they can be used by kamset university wa but they can be used by kamset university lahore campus they can be used by by wa university and so on the range of ip address not needed from the ip address that is for this machine for the machine in the network they use only they use for the machines in the network they use the private ip address they don't need the ip addresses of public ip addresses and these ip addresses they are they can be reused in another organization as well this is called private ip address it is only known within the network okay so we range of ip address not needed from the isp just one ip address for all the devices only one public ip address only one public ip address it is enough to represent the 4000 host in this organization okay another problem is that we can change the address of device in local network without notifying outside world okay so what what does it mean let me explain if we want to ex to uh, to change the address of this machine for example we use 10.0.1 now we want to use for example 20.0.1 20.0.0.2 20.0.0.3 and so on so if we change these ip addresses but we don't need to announce to the outside world that we have changed these ip addresses because it is only a scope is within this network a scope is within this network okay if we change it so it so it will not affect the outside world okay if we change this public ip address so it will it will be announced to over the internet it will be announced over the internet but the private ip address it is scope is within the network so if we change this uh, addresses so it will be announced only within this organization the outside world we don't uh, we are not concerned to announce it to the outside world why because its scope is local okay so we can change the uh, ip addresses within the organization by without notifying to the rest of the internet similarly we can change the isp the can change isp without changing the address of local network what does it mean that is if you want to change this public ip address okay we can change it but we don't need to change the ip address here okay we don't need to change the ip addresses here okay so it can work as usual okay so this is the advantage similarly we can have devices inside local network not explicitly addressable okay this is a security plus point okay what is security plus point you know that whenever a packet arrives from outside whenever a packet is arrived out from outside that packet the destination and destination ip address and destination port number they are first searched in the in the net table 
if there is no entry in the net table then the packet will be dropped packet will be dropped because it doesn't know that that this packet is for which of this host because all of these hosts they have the same ip address that they are used okay so when and this table so it means that if and this table have the entry when the when the machine from the local network send the data to the outside world then this table will have entry when the machine from the local network send the data then this table will have entry if this machine has not sent the data and someone one someone from the outside world wants to send the data to this machine it cannot be sent because there will be no entry if there is no entry then the net will not forward that message to the network so this is the security point of view that if someone wants to access any machine outside the world and the machine has not access that that one then the outside world cannot access the machine in the local network why because when the data comes at the gateway first it is look up in the net table and the net table we have entry when the local machine want to send the data if it if the local machine this machine has not sent the data so there will be no entry there will be no entry if there is no entry then the packet will be discarded okay so this is the security plus point okay so its net address implementation is how it works basically it is implemented in the router that is in the uh, gateway router that connects the internet that connects the organization to the internet to the internet so on this router on this gateway the net is implemented okay so net how it works outgoing datagram when the packets is moving from the when the packet moves from the local network to the uh, when the packets move from uh, when the packets move from the local network to the internet so when it pass through the gateway its source ip address and source port number are replaced the source ip address is replaced by the public ip address and the source port number is replaced by the another port th that is going to be opened by this gateway and these entries are stored in the net table these entries are stored in the net table okay so any outgoing datagram from the local network it is basically we replace the source ip address and source port number of every outgoing datagram to the net ip address to the public ip address and the new port number and when the so that the remote client and server will respond using the net ip address and new port number and when th that is done then the remember in net translation table that these entries are also stored in the net table that is when we you know that when I mean, this message is received by the net okay so the source port number and source ip address are replaced but these entries are stored in the net table these are stored in the net table why because when the response message from the internet comes from the destination comes then the destination ip address and port number are looked up in this net table if they are found then they are replaced by the corresponding entry by this entry they are will be replaced by this entry so that the message can be delivered to this host okay so it so the net remember in the net translation table the source ip address and port number that were replaced by the net ip address and new port number so when incoming datagram when the packet comes then the destination ip address is replaced destination port number is replaced by what by it is the destination ip address and the incoming packet is that is the net ip address and new port number they are replaced by by what they are replaced by the corresponding source ip address and port number that is stored in the table okay so the net network address translation we know that the port number they are 16 bit okay so it means that we can have 60000 simultaneous connection with a single lane address okay because we have 60000 for example so it means that how many source application they can have send data so we can have up, uh, how many port number here 
because for every packet that is moving for every new flow that is moving uh, from the local network to the internet so this has to create a new port this has to create a new port so it means that and the port number are 16 bits so 60,000 up to 60,000 the, uh, the flow can be initiated from the local network to the internet if there are more than 60,000 then the net will block it the net will not accommodate it so okay so this is the limitation net is net is controversial why net is controversial why the router should only process up to layer 3 we have discussed it that the uh, router it should process up to IP layer and you can see that here this is the router it creates a new port number and the port number is created at the transport layer at the application layer okay so basically the router is doing uh, here we have the application layer and transport layer we have application layer and transport and this is the router and in the, and the router we don't have application layer and transport layer so here we are using the application and transport layer okay but so this violate the original tcp ip protocol model that the network layer a that the router is responsible up to network layer physical layer data link layer and network layer but now using the net it is the router is also operating at the application layer at the transport layer okay so the router should only process up to layer 3 but in the net case we are processing up to application layer even transport layer okay so why but but it's okay why it is okay because it is the shortage should be solved by so it basically address the ip address shortage the ip address depletion problem so now at that time the ip version 6 was not come so that's why the net was used now we have ip version 6 so it solves that problem so now net should not be used and it violates end to end argument violates end to end argument okay so we will discuss p2p application later in the uh, uh, in the slide okay so you know that uh, when the message is sent in the using the net so you can see that this message has source ip address this but when it is sent to the destination this ip address will not append this ip address is sent source ip address is replaced so it means that end-to-end -end argument is violated okay another problem that we have in the net this is called net traversal problem net traversal problem okay what is it let us discuss suppose you know that we have discussed suppose this is the a machine outside the internet this is a machine outside the internet it want to send data to a machine suppose this one and what is this this is a machine and it is running p2p application BitTorrent, and it is cedar cedar means that it can share its file or data with other people okay so suppose this is the p2p client it want to access this p2 the file from here so if one to access that packet then it will send so it suppose now that this is the ip address 10.0.0.3 and this is the port number 87 so it, so if this machine sends data with this ip address 10.0.0.3 and 87 then this packet cannot be delivered why because this ip address it is private it is only known in this network it is not known outside so it cannot be sent suppose that suppose further we suppose that this machine it have some magic or it has some knowledge suppose what is the knowledge that this ip address 10.0.3 it is present here and it is private ip address and this private network this network it has a public ip address this one okay so suppose it keeps these two addresses that 10.0.3 and this and now this ip address is used that the message should be forwarded okay so if this ip address is used both ip addresses are used but this ip address is uh, at the top so this ip address will be used to send the message 
So this IP address 138.76, it is public IP address. So it is known worldwide. So it means that this message will be forwarded to this machine. When this packet is arrived, okay. So you know that when this, when the incoming packet is arrived, it is first checked in the net table. And the net table, now you can see that this have IP address this. 1387629 and the port number is 87 and here the port number is 501 so this entry will not be found in the net if this entry is not found in the net then this packet will be discarded this packet will be discarded why because we have discussed that this is the security plus point of the net that because this network has not communicated with this destination this 10.0.0.3 it has not communicated with this destination before so it is cannot send the data when it initiate data first when the data is first initiated by 10.3 then it can send the data okay so this is the security plus so this is called net reversal problem and the p2p you know that the p2p is very widely used okay so the p2p system they cannot work behind the net behind the net why because if from outside the world or over the internet if someone want to access for the first time the host in the local network the net cannot exist why because if that packet comes to the net and there is no entry then the packet will be discarded why no entry because this has not initiated connection the local network cannot it has not initiate in a connection the connection is initiated by this one by from the outside the world if the connection is initiated from the outside the world from outside the internet then the net will not have the entry and the net has not entry entry then the packet will not be delivered to the local network okay so how we solve this problem so this problem is solved by using a protocol uh, by using uh, there are different technique proposed so I would like to explain to you another important technique you know that when whenever you run a p2p system a bit torrent so there is a bit torrent server this is a bit torrent server every p2p application whether it one this one this one this one everyone in the internet they have to first connect with the BitTorrent bootstrapper server and suppose they connect with this BitTorrent so when this machine wants to start the P2P application so it has to first connect with this Bit2P BitTorrent so when it connects with this BitTorrent so it when it sends the data then, then here the entry will be stored the entry will be stored okay so when this machine when any machine in the internet when any machine uh, when any p2p application it starts so they first connect with the bootstrapper BitTorrent bootstrapper okay so in this case this machine have to first connect with it when it connect with it then it has to send the data when it, the data is sent then the next table will be populated the entry will be stored now suppose this is the p2p application it wants to access this p2p cedar okay so it cannot access directly because the entry is not stored in the net table for this entry for this for this machine the in, the entry in the net table is not stored but for this machine the end the entry is stored why because when the p2p application is started so it has to connect with the BitTorrent bootstrapper so when it sends the data to this machine so it, it's entries already stored in the network so if this machine wants to access this machine that is stored in the local network behind the net so how it does how it does first it sends the data to this bit torrent first it sends the data to this bit torrent so it sends the source ip address will be the ip address of this machine okay and suppose this is the source port number it sends the datagram to 129 this machine and, and also it keeps that this data is for this machine this data is for this machine okay so when this datagram first it comes to 
here first the datagram comes to bit torrent when this packet is arrived at bit torrent so it comes to know that this data is not for me why because there is another ip address store so this is for another ip address 87 and 10.0.3 87 it knows here it knows here why because it has stored here this information suppose okay so now the bit torrent will since this will forward this packet to this gateway by using this ip address and this port number okay so this message can be forwarded by bit torrent to the uh, destination okay you can see that this message is for forwarded by bit torrent to here when this packet is received you know that this ip address and port number its entry is stored here so it will be replaced by this ip address and port number and it will be forwarded to this okay message is forwarded to here when the message is received by this machine so it comes to know that this data is not from here but this data is originated by source address 128.199.40.187 okay so <coughs> in this way the net can be traversed by using this intermediate node this intermediate node and now if this wants to send back the response if this uh, uh, now if this node 10.0.3 want to send back the response so it can send the response directly to this machine by using this source ip address and port number okay so it can send directly the response when the response is sent directly then here for this source ip address for this message the entry will in a new entry will be stored when the new entry is stored so it can send the uh, the second packet or third packet directly using the this entry okay so this is one example that for p2p how the net traversal problem is solved okay so we have discussed the uh, net traversal problem and discuss and now we would like to move forward and uh, we will not discuss ip version 6 why because ip version 6 is uh, it solved basically the ip address depletion problem so instead of 38 bit ip addresses we have more ip addresses so it has fixed length 40 byte header okay so ip version 6 it solved the ip address depletion problem so we will not discuss it uh, but you have to discuss it by yourself okay so we have in ip version 6 we have up to 128 bit ip addresses okay so you have to discuss uh, you have to study it by uh, yourself or it can be uh, a semester project to a student uh, it can be assigned as a semester project to a student okay so next we were going to discuss the uh, hdn architecture okay